What's up party people and welcome back to my channel. So I am super excited for today's video because today I'm giving you my top 10 makeup picks under $10 and believe it or not, kind of hard to do nowadays. The drugstore is getting so damn bougie. I don't know who they think they are, but it's like they're trying to be in Sephora. You guys need to calm down. But lo and behold, I'm coming at you with the best of the best, super amazing, super high quality products under that $10 mark. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and get started. But before we do, if you're new here, hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley and I post videos twice a week. And we talk about everything from makeup to skincare to hair care, all things beauty, all in one place. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel and stick around and also turn your bell on so that you never miss an upload. And while we're talking about it, so it's fresh on your mind and you don't forget later on, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you end up enjoying it and if you want to see more like it because let me tell you, there's plenty more where this came from. My list goes way past 10. So make sure you give it a like if you want to see more. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So the first product I have is an eyeliner. This is the Rimmel Soft Pencil Eyeliner in the shade Jet Black. And this is very much like Max Coal Liner, which used to be super popular back in the day. You would see it used all the time in tutorials and it was used as one of those liners that you like you could smudge it out and really smoke it and kind of use it as a base and it just gave you like a really pretty like sultry charcoal kind of look i haven't tried the mac one but this is basically the same thing based off of what i've heard about the mac one so i'm very surprised that i like this liner because honestly i've never been into this wooden pencil kind of liner thing i feel like most of them are very dry and they tug and they're not creamy or anything but this is amazing number one it actually is very very jet black especially when you build it up up. it's such a nice rich like charcoal black and I'm so shocked at how long wearing it is because usually liners like this like the wooden pencil kind of liners they don't really have longevity but this one holds up all day on me so yeah if you're looking for a really good long wearing eyeliner that's jet black and matte and it's also really easy to smoke out and smudge and soften this is it. Next up is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Primer. This is a very atypical product for me because I never use lash primers. I honestly thought they were the biggest gimmick, but I saw a lot of really good reviews on Amazon, surprisingly, and this stuff is a game changer. This makes your mascara work like it's on steroids. It gives me so much more volume and length. Like it really pumps up the length for sure. It adds thickness and fullness. It doesn't clump. I will say there is kind of a sweet spot for when you need to go into your mascara. Like do not apply this and while it's wet go into your mascara. Like let it dry for about a minute. Honestly, I've been using this every single day and usually I don't like to make time for stuff like this. It's kind of like, I don't know. A little extra thing that you don't really need from day to day but I've been making time for it because it's that good. Next up I have a concealer. This is the elf 16 hour camo concealer. So this is six dollars. This is a super high coverage very opaque formula. It's super long wearing and it's one of the only concealers I've used lately that doesn't crease or fade under my eyes. It's not super drying or anything. I will say it definitely does lean more on the matte side. Like it's more of like a a demi matte but it's not as drying as tarte shape tape in my opinion this is better than shape tape and it's six dollars so it's a fraction of the cost next up are some lipsticks and i know that i've talked about these before like in videos like this but i feel like if i if i go too long without talking about them it kind of i don't know it takes away their shine and they're so so good so i just want to keep reminding you these are the ColourPop lippy sticks so these are six dollars on their website you can also find some at ulta by far my favorite lipstick formula they have such an amazing shade selection there's literally something for everyone they're so comfortable like even the matte ones they do have different finishes they have matte finishes cream finishes they used to have glossy finishes but i don't think they have a lot of those anymore um and they also have like matte x which is like extremely matte but they're all very nice and comfortable and somehow moisturizing on the lips and they're so long wearing so right now i'm wearing the shade oh snap let's just pop a little more on but mm, they're just it's so smoothing and they smell good they're cheap and they're literally the best so next is a product that i only used for the first time a few days ago but it wowed me and impressed me so much with just the first use that it's going on my top list. So these are the CoverGirl True Blend Super Stunner Hyper Glow Highlighters. So these are brand new. CoverGirl doesn't really do a whole lot right in my eyes. Like I'm kind of lukewarm with them and there's just not really a whole lot that I've tried that has impressed me. But these are so beautiful. And I've really taken a step back from powder highlighters. So the fact that this is like pulled me back in says a lot. So this is in the shade Pearl Crush. And whenever you first look at it, like it's pretty, but like whenever you swatch it, 
it doesn't really look like a whole lot like they're not overly frosty or overly shimmery to where they are super emphasizing a like texture and peach fuzz and pores acne stuff like that they just sit so nicely on the skin and they wear really really well so yeah covergirl really knocked it out of the water with these so next up is a setting spray that is completely blown my mind and i'm usually pretty unimpressed with setting sprays like i've been in a very weird spot with a lot of them because i feel like they don't really i don't know i just i haven't really found one that has worked with my skin lately like a new one but this is from a brand that i'm pretty sure is exclusive to amazon this is 9.99 so this is the n3 oil control makeup primer pore minimizing micro fine mist so n3 stands for no name necessary this is such a beautiful effective setting spray it mattifies my skin but not too much to where it makes it look dry and cakey i wouldn't go as far as saying it's pore minimizing i mean maybe it is a little bit it's definitely pore softening but it just gives the most beautiful soft focused blurred airbrush like soft matte finish and it keeps makeup on all day long and it keeps me and prevents me from being oily in my t-zone which i had a really big problem with lately so yeah i definitely want to try more for this line i'm repping some more ColourPop products I promise I'm not sponsored, but I would definitely take a sponsorship from ColourPop. Just saying. But these are the new blush sticks. So these are $8. I just feel like cream products especially just sit on the skin so beautifully. They're really easy to blend out. They're super creamy. They're buttery. But once they set, they set. Now I will say if you have oily skin, you might want to consider setting these with like a powder blush that matches. Just to make sure it stays put because they do have like they, they do hold up that really pretty sheen that they have. Like they don't set to be like a powder finish or anything. But I have oily skin and I haven't had any problems with wear. Like they still hold up all day on me. So yeah, if you're in the market for a good cream blush, this is a great place to start. Probably the best. Next up, I have a powder blush. And I know I said earlier that I wasn't going to duplicate any categories and I really wanted to mix it up, but a lot of people don't like cream blushes. So this is for you. So these are the Milani baked blushes. So these are about seven to eight dollars depending on where you find them. And I know that this isn't new and exciting. The culture of YouTube right now, and it has been for a while, is buying what's new, buying what's popular, you know, what's trending. So I just want to inspire you guys to go back to the OGs. The first one I have is one that no one has ever talked about. Like it's one of those things that it seems like it's rare, but like it's out there. It's just no one's discovering it. But this is Bella Bellini. It's a pinky coral with a really pretty golden sheen so it's definitely not matte but it's one of those blushes that makes you look like you have highlighter on and it makes your cheeks look really juicy and just i don't know really glowy but if you want something a little bit more of a pink this one has been one again go-to blush like i'm probably almost about to hit pan like it's not even dome shaped anymore but this is dolce pink again haven't heard one person talk about this but this is also very similar to nars orgasm but it's more pink it does have a golden sheen, but it's not as peachy and as corally as Bella Bellini. I actually just started getting into Luminoso. I never really was into like orangey blushes, but where I have a tan right now, it looks really, really pretty. But yeah, Milani baked blushes, don't forget about them. So next up, I have some lip liners from Koki. These are the retractable cold lip liners. They're $7 out of four nudes to show you guys. So this is, I'm going to swatch the shade Dusty Rose, which is what I'm wearing right now with O Snap. But these are so creamy and long wearing and they just glide on. They don't tug, they're not hard to apply, they're fast. And then I have natural, which is a little bit more of a, a mauvey pink. So there is natural right next to it. They pretty much all look the same, but you know what? I don't care. And then I have warm nude, which is pretty light, but this is a really pretty like neutral kind of brownish undertone nude. I love that one. I love them all obviously. And then I have nude, which is just a little bit lighter and a little more almost taupey like a taupey brown so yeah don't sit on these lip liners last but certainly not least i have these perfusion cosmetics sparkler kits so they come in duos like there's a liquid eyeshadow and then a cream eyeshadow stick but i took them out of their packaging finally after months and months because i actually just did a video where i tested pr and i tested these and i swatched them all side by side and yeah go check out that video because you will definitely see <laughs> what the names of the sets are but these are amazing if, if for nothing else, like if you don't even want the cream eyeshadow sticks, these glitters are dead on dupes for the Stila Magnificent Metal Glitters. This is probably the closest dupe that I've tried to the Stila ones. And those are like $24. So yeah, you're getting two for $7, but the glitter itself is worth $7. So yeah, that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I really hope it helps save you some money because like I always say, you do not need to spend an arm and a leg on makeup anymore it's just so unnecessary if you haven't already go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more like it and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in the next one Mwah.